Today's video is covering equivalent equations. This is video number 13 in the standard mastery assessment. So there are several different ways to attack this problem and this video will focus on assigning numbers to each letter and figuring out whether or not the equations are equivalent. You could multiply the numbers or the letters out and then solve for the same letter and then look to see if the equations look the exact same. However, the strategy we're using today I feel like is much more efficient with um, getting the correct answer. So here the question gives us an equation. So this is the main equation and what we're trying to do is figure out whether or not the four equations down here, one, two, three, and four, are equivalent to the one that it gave us. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take each of the letters in the original equation. So we're going to take C, D, J, K, and N, and we're going to give them numbers that they equal. So we're going to choose these numbers that they equal. The only one that we're not going to choose a number for is actually N. We're going to um, figure out what N is based on what we get when we simplify the left side first. So the numbers that I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose 1 for C, 2 for D, 3 for J, 4 for K. Now, you can select any numbers that you want as long as the number that you now put in for C, anytime you see a C, is always 1. Likewise for any of the other letters. I chose small numbers because those are easier to simplify in the calculator. So if you look at what we have here in our original, I'm going to go ahead and just put in 1 for C, 2 for D, make sure I put the parentheses, 3 for J, minus 4 for K. And now, whatever we get when we simplify this left side, the number we get here will be the number that N equals. So that is the only one that I'm not going to choose because of the way it's set up. So now I'm going to just use the calculator with parentheses to see what the side simplifies to. And I'm using the parentheses, or I'm using the calculator because I know the calculator is not going to make a computation mistake unless I put it in wrong, which I've done twice already. Parentheses, 3 minus 4 parentheses. And that simplifies to a negative 3. So we know that this equals negative 3. So when we simplified this left side, we got negative 3 and we know that that equals negative 3. So because the number on both sides of the equation is the same, then we know that this is a true equation. So we've, we've got good values here that we can now use down here. So now what we're doing is we're putting in the numbers for each letter, and we're seeing if the equation comes, comes back as the same number. It does not have to come back as negative 3 on both sides. It just has to be the same number on both sides. So C is 1. D here is 2, and that equals N is negative 3, minus J was a 3, and K was 4. So I know that 1 plus 2 is 3, so I can simplify that one by myself. Um, that was That's the only one that I'm going to do, though, without the calculator. So negative 3, we can use the minus sign, minus parentheses, 3 minus 4. I'm going to double check to make sure I put it in wrong, right? I did not. I forgot a parenthesis, so negative 3 minus parentheses 3 minus 4. Double check. I did. What I get is negative 2. So the number that the right side simplifies to is negative 2. So is 3 and negative 2, are they the same number or do they equal each other? No, they do not. So 1 is not equivalent. We can go ahead and put A. What are we going to get for number 2? J is 3, and the biggest part to getting this question correctly is making sure that whatever numbers you assigned at the beginning, you write down so that you do not lose track. So N was negative 3, C was 1, D was 2, and then K was 4. Now when I put this in the calculator, the only thing I have to make sure I do is I put this in parentheses because these two numbers here, since they're in the denominator together, are being added before they are being divided. So I'm going to go ahead and use the calculator. I do not need to simplify the left side because I know that left side is just negative is just positive 3. So the right side simplifies to negative 3 divided by parentheses 1 plus 2 parentheses the 4 is being added at the end. Double check to make sure it's the exact same and it is. I can go ahead and hit enter and what I get is the number 3. So we know that 3 and 3 are equal because they're the same. So this is good. We can go ahead and put Yes, it is equivalent. 
Let's do the same thing for number three. So here we have two plus one, and um, j was three. And we make sure that the negative it gives us, we just keep right there in the same spot. k is four equals n was negative three. So we know the right side is already negative three. What does the left side simplify to? So we have two plus one, parentheses, parentheses, negative three plus four. And I'm okay with typing it in the calculator each time because I know that I'm going to get the right answer if I type it incorrectly. So three equals negative three. Three and negative three are not the same number, so they are not equal. So three, we can just go ahead and put A. No, it is not equal. Now the last one, J is three, and that equals K or N plus K, which is negative three plus four and c plus d which is 1 plus 2. Now again because these numbers are being added before they're being divided I'm going to go ahead and put them in parentheses. So we know that this number should simplify to negative uh, to positive 3 if they are if it is a equivalent equation. So let's see what happens when we put it in. Whoops I forgot the divide sign so I'll just clear it type it in one more time negative 3 plus 4, close parentheses, divided by parentheses, 1 plus 2. And I get 0.3333. So we know that this side simplifies to 0.333 with a line under it. Those are not the same numbers. So we know that 4 is not equivalent. We can go ahead and put A. Just to show you that the parentheses are very important when you're putting in this last one, let's see what we would have gotten had we not used the parentheses. So negative 3 plus 4 divided by 1 plus 2. So right here in the calculator, order of operations, they're going to divide just 4 and 1, and then they're going to add the front number, and then they're going to add the back number. Well, you can clearly see that this was set up to, so that the two numbers were added first, then divided by the other two numbers which were added first. So we'll see what the answer gives us. And it gives us 3. So if you put this one in, Without the parentheses in the calculator, you're going to get the answer 3, and then you're going to think, wow, they're the same exact number, and you, instead of putting no for equivalent, you're going to put yes. So make sure that when you've got two numbers on top or two numbers on bottom that are being added, when you put them into the calculator, you put them in parentheses. Just to show you that you could have actually gotten two wrong, let me show you what you would have gotten over here in number two had you not put it in parentheses. So here we had negative 3 divided by... 1 plus 2 plus 4. So in the calculator, you can see that they're going to divide these front numbers, and then they're going to add it to 2, and then add it to 4. Here, you would have also gotten 3, but it's okay because the number that we got here is 3 anyway. So this is one of the rare cases where making that mistake actually doesn't really change your answer a whole lot. However, we know that if we make that mistake right here, you would have gotten it incorrect. So make sure as you go through these, you're paying attention to the fine details.